Grand Prix Insights is presented by Allianz. Melbourne, Malaysia, Bahrain. For the third race of the season, we travel to the Arabian Peninsula. 57 laps of the Sakir circuit, one of the most recent additions to the F1 calendar. Things get tough right after the start, with every contestant jostling to find the ideal line through the first corners. The best place for overtaking in Bahrain is probably at the end of the main straight, uh, into this hairpin. Um, but then again, I, I must say Bahrain is one of the best tracks for overtaking that we have in the year, so it's always a lot of fun to watch on TV. Coming out of the corner on top is crucial to the next manoeuvre. With 300 on the clock along the straight, stay tight up to the car in front and out from the slipstream and overtake at turn 4 to give yourself a free run to the infield and the next chicanes. This track is a treat not just for the drivers but for the spectators too. Airy buildings in natural stone with tent roofs blend into the landscape, offering shelter from the extreme heat. After all, this circuit is in the middle of the desert, which is not without consequences. The engines requ simply require special filters on the airbox inlet, which is by now common knowledge in Formula One, and we have seen no major damages to engines uh, because of the sand in Bahrain so far. But still, sand causes a problem under the tyres. The constant warm desert wind makes for unpredictable conditions and mistakes can be disastrous. The final straight before the start-finish line, top speeds of 320 and poor grip make for less than ideal conditions. One achievement of modern circuit design, wide run-out zones for added safety. The new tracks are mostly the safest also, yes, because they have been built to the new safety standards and really been thought through. So uh, most of the time they are the safest tracks. Only another 56 laps to go. Instead of champagne, the Bahrain champion is dust with a mixture of fruit juice and rose water. But who will get to claim that privilege here in the desert race remains to be seen. Grand Prix Insights was presented by Allianz.